Donald Trump finally tweeted about big tech censorship of conservatives the other day. And guess what happened to his post? It got censored. On Saturday morning, President Trump shared a video from conservative commentator Michelle Malkin that called out big tech companies for their censorship of fellow conservatives. Trump's caption when he shared the video read, quote, The radical left is in total command and control of Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Google. The administration is working to remedy this illegal situation. Stay tuned and send names and events. Thank you, Michelle. No less than an hour after sharing his tweet, the video strangely got removed from Twitter, even though it didn't violate any guidelines. Trump's words remained up, but the nearly 100,000 people that liked the tweet could no longer see what Michelle Malkin had to say about big tech censorship that Twitter apparently didn't want people to see. But before I show you what she said that big tech doesn't want you to see, please visit patreon.com slash Bennett to directly support my work. To pay this monster, make sure you go to patreon.com slash Bennett. You can support my work to pay for this monster of a security guard. You can get super cool perks such as an autograph photo in the mail every month from me, or for just $5 a month, you can gain access to my private Facebook group. Or you can go to cameo.com slash KateMarieOX for a personalized shout out video from me. Or visit CaitlinBennett.org for t-shirts, supplements, and more to support my work, look fresh, and live healthy. Michelle Malkin is one of the fiercest defenders of freedom we have in this country, and has been on the front lines for decades. Over the past year, she has become the target of a form of censorship that I would argue is just as bad as social media censorship. Censorship. Despite being a longtime speaker for the Young Americans Foundation, also known as YAF, the organization decided to sever ties with her late last year over her refusal to condemn an online commentator named Nick Fuentes, whom the establishment right really doesn't like. This cost Mulk in her job and potentially even her speaking career, and now has establishment Republicans calling her the R word, among other names, even though she's Asian. <laughs> All of the organizations that used to host her have since disassociated from her because she wouldn't publicly denounce people that she had no reason to publicly denounce. You see, the reason that the establishment Republicans don't like her is because she is actually consistent with what she believes in and will defend absolutely anybody who is either falsely smeared or stripped of their voice online. She recognized the hypocrisy and refused to partake in a right-wing cancel culture. That's why she's always stuck up for me, even when nobody else will. This is also why she's been one of the biggest critics of big tech censorship, because she realizes that the First Amendment means everyone gets a voice not just certain people. And so when Michelle Malkin was invited to speak at the Western Conservative Summit last summer, she chose to speak about the censorship of conservatives on social media. Here's what Michelle had to say and what Twitter doesn't want you to see. There are many of my friends and allies, your compatriots, who not only can no longer communicate on social media, on Twitter, on Facebook or Instagram, but who also can no longer gather peacefully at hotel conferences to discuss their ideas. Still others are now forbidden from doing business with their banks, their payment processors, online retailers, and even ride-sharing services. There is no more safe space that we can feel that we are guaranteed the right to communicate our ideas with each other. To watch her entire 26 minute speech, go to the link in the description. It's definitely a speech you will want to watch in full, and Michelle Malkin is definitely one of the few prominent conservatives left that deserves our full support. She's absolutely right when she said there is no more safe space for us to be able to communicate our ideas. The censorship starts online, but is then encouraged out in real life. You've witnessed it right here on this channel anytime I go out to do videos and especially when I went to visit Ohio University to film a President's Day trivia video. Hey, yeah. no, you didn't even get out of here. You are not a president! If it ain't you in the face! After four years of promising that he'll do something about big tech censorship, it's certainly encouraging to see President Trump tweet about it and call the situation illegal. Your supporters are being erased from the internet and targeted in person now as a result of it. You are the commander in chief and can do something to put a stop to their illegal and reckless behavior. I'm afraid that if you don't act now, you'll have no supporters left online to help you get reelected this November. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and share, hit that subscribe button,
subscribe button and click the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos. If you want to support my work, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett and receive cool perks like an autographed photo from me in the mail each month. Or you can go to CaitlinBennett.org and get up to 75% off and free shipping on supplements and merchandise to support my work and start living a healthy life. My favorite product, it's Turbo Force because it gives me all the energy I need to make it through a long day of doing interviews. There are tons of other health supplements you can choose from to keep your body healthy during these uncertain times. And check out the website band.video to see uncensored content from conservative creators that have been erased from social media.